Hi and welcome back. Today I have another jelly printing session and I'm going to create some more spring colored backgrounds. I have already used some of those backgrounds in my Instagram reels so you can just um, check the link in the video description and there you can watch some quick clips where I create some um, cards or artist trading cards or tags with these jelly prints. I'm working with the bigger plate today. It's the one that is almost A4 size. It's a little bit smaller and I do part of the printing on half of the page because I want to use the other half um, just as a as a helper area where I can um, clean the stamps that I'm using, you will see it. Later I will use the whole plate for some prints. Again I'm working only with stamps today. As I told you last time it's much easier than using stencils because you don't have that many pieces laying around and also you don't have to clean them. Well you have to clean the stamps but I feel that's pretty easy. You just have to store them on a wet wipe while you are printing and when you're done just go to the sink and wash them with water. And this is one of my favorite color combinations, the pink and the light green. I think it's perfect for spring. I'm trying out some different combinations. I want to have some fresh prints and also some that have kind of a vintage feel or vintage colors. The acrylics I mainly use are the ones from Amsterdam. I also have some of the Liquitex Basics and some from Schminke. I love all of them for printing on the jelly plate. So far I have made some videos where I'm using all the prints I'm doing at the moment to just give you some ideas what you can do with your jelly prints and I will link up that playlist at the end of the video. I didn't use many different stamps for printing today just because I really like this branch for printing. I think it makes a gorgeous background. And here you can see what I mean. I am uh, stamping into the paint and then onto the side of the jelly plate where I have no um, acrylic paint and that gives me another texture for the next print I'm doing. What I don't like about this idea is that I always have a strip in the middle of the plate with color that is overlapping and I believe next time I will just use one of the smaller plates um, aside and use this as my helper plate. For jelly printing I like light colors that are opaque and darker colors that are transparent. I have the feeling this give me the best prints. Um, a transparent color in jelly printing looks really gorgeous on a white background. Of course if you do more layers you have to take care and have to keep in mind that you have a transparent color but I feel it looks much more vibrant in comparison to an opaque paint. I think that must be because of the white pigment that usually is in an opaque color. You can see I have something going on on the back side of my papers. Um, this is just where I have cleaned off my brayer or I have cleaned off some, well that's nice I think, and where I've cleaned off um, some of the stamps and I always use these um, cleaning papers for printing later 
and the paper I'm using is a simple copy paper. Um, I'm using different weights, so I believe today I'm using the 220 GSM and also the 160 or 120 GSM. I use just different uh, weights because I think when you make collages with them, the thinner paper is better and if you make um, some card backgrounds or artist trading cards, then you want to have a thicker paper. Also, when you use them for die cutting, it's always good to have a thicker cardstock. I never use watercolor paper for printing because I think that's too expensive and it's not necessary. And also, if you have a texture paper, the print doesn't look good. I often get asked which sprayer I'm using and it's from a German company called Arbic. I will write this in the video description. By the way, the stamps I'm using here are from the Pencil Marks stamp set. Uh, when I designed them, I didn't know that I would love to use them for jelly printing, but since I have them, I have, I believe, almost never used them for something else or just a few of them. I'm keeping this video in real time so you can maybe print together with me and if it's too slow for you and you just want to watch and see how the prints are turning out you can just use that little gear in the YouTube settings and uh, turn the speed higher. Unfortunately, I must say that I can't give you photos of each print because after printing them, I just put them to the stack of my jelly prints and I used them already a lot. And that's the reason why I don't have photos. I just found four of them um, that I made here in this session and I took photos and you will see them at the end of the video. Also one of my favorite stamps for printing is this grid stamp from my Mixed Media Mark stamp set. It's really nice what you get um, using this for printing. It gives you really simple backgrounds, but I think they're matching almost every kind of project.
By the way, this brown is one of my favorite colors. It's the burnt umber from Amsterdam and it's a super transparent color. And I always thought that I don't need any brown acrylics because you can mix them. But this one is so pretty. Also their burnt sienna is very gorgeous. It's more orange than brown, the burnt sienna. And I think they are so nice and pretty and I never had thought that I would love a brown so much. I always alternate with the colors, so I never use the same color after I've used it before. Or if I do, I just use it on another position on the plate, because that gives you more interest. It gives you fragments from the previous print on the next one, and that looks more interesting. If you always use the same colors, um, you just don't get this variation. The stamp that I've used here is also one of the pencil mark stamps. I now will make some bigger prints with the A4 sized paper. I think this background paper also looks really interesting. I think it's nice, so I have always a double-sided paper. It's just like scrapbooking paper. You can pick the one you need and the one you like the most.
and that's my last print I'm doing today. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you are inspired to get out your jelly plate and make some prints. Have a wonderful weekend. Bye!